Paediatric basic life support. Check for safety, stimulate the patient and shout for help. Check the environment on entry, stimulate the patient via voice. If they're unresponsive, stimulate the patient via a painful stimulus using a trapezius squeeze. If they're unresponsive, shout for help. Ask the rescuer to put out a double two, double two paediatric cardiac arrest call and bring back the crash trolley. Paediatric crash call, Cox and Ward, bed 36. That's Cox and Ward, bed 36, paediatric crash call. In the meantime, lay the patient flat. Check the airway, look inside and use suction if needed to clear. Open the airway with a child over one using the sniff in the morning air, head tilt, chin lift position. Then assess for signs of life. Maintain the airway open and look at the chest, feeling for breath on your face and looking for chest rise. Do this for 10 seconds. If there are no signs of life, you need to give five rescue breaths via bag valve mask ventilation. Get the mask, measure the mask on the face, bring the face to the mask and ask the other rescuer to squeeze the bag using one hand for five breaths. We are looking for bilateral and equal chest rise on each breath. If there are no signs of life during those five rescue breaths, immediately start CPR. Hand placement for a child is using the heel of one hand over the lower half of the sternum. Lift the fingers to ensure that pressure is not applied over the child's ribs. Position yourself vertically above the child's chest. Compress the sternum by at least one third of the chest depth or approximately five centimetres. While CPR is ongoing, the other rescuer will apply the defibrillator pads over the child's chest. First placement of the pad is just below the right clavicle to the right of the sternum. The other pad is mid axilla line in the V5-V6 position. The alternative pad placement is anterior and posterior between the scapula. The anterior posterior is preferred for an infant. Continue CPR and turn on the defib. Follow the AED. Analyzing now. Do not touch the patient. No shock advised. It is safe to touch the patient. If the patient is in a non-shockable rhythm, recommence CPR immediately and follow the advanced life support algorithm for drug administration of adrenaline. If the AED says to give a shock, Shock advised. Do not touch the patient. We give a safe shock, ensuring no one is touching the patient. As soon as the shock button is pressed, we continue CPR until your cardiac arrest team arrive. If you are a trained professional, you can give compressions at a ratio of 15 to 2. Otherwise, follow the AED instructions of 30 to 2.